Welcome uh, to the Skillful Mind presentation. This presentation is on running a workshop uh, to attract new leaders. Okay, great. <coughs> okay, thank you. So this uh, tonight is about the uh, leaders workshop uh, to enable uh, people to assist the Skillful Mind in our vision, which is... Uh, a meditation class in every suburb and every town in the world. So just a bit of a background uh, for those who don't know me. I am an avid meditator. I've uh, been meditating now for, you know, over 30, probably almost 35 years. And uh, it, it's just uh, beyond question that meditation has made a huge impact in my life. And so I started Skillful Mind. Um, about, about eight years ago and our vision with Skillful Mind is really to promote meditation because I believe it is such a uh, panacea for so many different things, uh, you know, health problems, emotional problems, mental problems and then even community and planet problems. So that is our goal here at Skillful Mind and we know that we can't just do that ourselves. We would love to invite everybody here to Adelaide, but realistically that's not going to be happening. So uh, we want to inspire other people around the world to become leaders. Sorry, I just lent on the... Um, we want to inspire you guys to become leaders, of which those that I'm talking to are, are already leaders, and inspire as many other people to be uh, leaders as possible to start up groups in um, every suburb in the world. And um, fortunate for us, meditation is showing great promise and there's an enormous amount of interest in meditation at the present time. And I believe quite strongly that in another 10 years, meditation will be at a stage where yoga is at these days, where there's pretty much a yoga class in every suburb and soon I believe there will be meditation classes everywhere as well. So we're getting a lot of interest. So I need your help and this is where this webinar comes in. And I know uh, that realistically we all have the same desire to uh, go out and help the world and promote meditation in this world. But we also have realistic requirements in the sense that uh, these groups have got a support us in some way possible. Uh, I was speaking to uh, Carrie and she was saying she's in a fortunate position that she's got uh, some uh, funds available and things like that uh, that uh, she doesn't need to necessarily uh, pay her way you know, in the next few weeks or months or whatever but at some uh, point if we're going to spend a great deal of our time, particularly if we're going to give up full-time work to do more of this stuff then it needs to support us. So I've put together this presentation to do two things. First of all, uh, to help us um, promote this vision and second of all, to help you guys come up with a way in which can augment uh, your uh, income uh, so that it can be uh, supportive of you so that, so that way it can um, keep going. So that way we have a win-win-win situation. It's good for Skillful Mind because uh, we are um, promoting the business and promoting our vision. It's good for you uh, because you can uh, help us by running workshops and therefore generate income uh, by yourself. And it's good for the participants who come along that might be inspired to become leaders in their own right. So that's a bit of an introduction. Um, so the topics we're going uh, to do, well, I've, I've gone through those. Uh, it's about <coughs> assisting Skillful Mind to attract more leaders, to teach in more communities, to be able to run live workshops. Now, one of the reasons this came about is because we have, uh, honest, we've actually sort of come full circle because when I started doing this, um, it started from retreats and people on retreats wanting to do live classes and I held workshops here in Adelaide to assist uh, and teach people how to run their own classes. We then got interest um, around Australia and around the world 
And so we put the whole thing online and there's uh, yourselves included, people who have uh, joined us and become part of Skillful Mind leaders and done all the online training. But quite regularly, we still get a lot of people, um, admittedly older people, for, for reasons uh, that are quite obvious, that are not so au fait with technology and not so comfortable with that and they much prefer to be taught in person. Um, and at up until now we've been unable to do that, but hopefully with this webinar we will kick off uh, you guys as uh, teachers, um, particularly if you're allowed to travel around the UK a little bit, and we were just discussing uh, how that's a, uh, a smaller area than Australia, so it's a little bit more doable, to run these classes in different uh, cities around uh, the UK. Uh, it also helps you uh, to get to know more like-minded people. Um, the side benefit of this business is that we meet up with uh, people that are like-minded to us and can inspire us to do uh, these sorts of things. Um, and obviously to earn revenue to make sure that it's um, possible for it to support you in what you do. Uh, so from your side, uh, what we need is simply a venue uh, to be able to hold these classes and uh, a bit of practice in uh, running the uh, workshop. It's not hard and uh, I have templates and I'll show you those in a moment, uh, but a little bit of practice and you should be good to go out and run these workshops on behalf of Skillful Mind. Uh, to be able to attract more leaders. Uh, the way that uh, we support and what we supply you with is we have run uh, workshops like this. I've, I've run about uh, six or seven of them and then I've obviously put them into a structure which I can put online and so we give you that whole workshop outline. And um, ooh, what I wanted to show you, uh, which is not up yet. Oh yeah, actually that's on the next slide. Um, is uh, an example of the um, notes that we give you. So what I've done is I use something called a mind map. It's just more or less like a checklist of things to talk about. And uh, for example, this is talking about the structure of a, a class, um, who's the coordinator, what the best structure is, the, the, the types of meditation that we teach. And so I, these are kind of the notes that I, I use when I'm doing retreats, in fact, doing workshops, anything. I have these in front of me and they're very good to refer to. So we supply you with notes like this um, for your workshop. Um, we also give you a uh, website for promotion and uh, we've just had uh, one, one more person join us, so who else, hello to whoever that is. Um, and uh, we, we cr create an event. Now we have an example to show you. Uh, I'll just bring that up. So Suzanne, who's on the call, is planning one of these uh, workshops in November. I hope this technology works. Can you see that web page now? Just give me a nod if you can see it. So this is on our Skillful Mind uh, main web site where I um, advertise all my retreats. So we will actually put another heading up here, workshops, and these workshops will be advertised. And so we'll use a similar template. 
and here it just it, it shows where it will be, um, what you can benefit out of it, and we have book now buttons, um, and we have all the sales spiel that you need to attract your customers. So that way we've taken care of the IT behind uh, running these workshops and people can book in through our booking system and we have payment systems behind which will take the, the payments which I will talk about. So I'm now going to swap that. Okay, and I should have swapped back to the presentation there. Good. Um, we also, as well as the website done for you, we supply mentoring, obviously, as in the lead up to the uh, webinar or to the uh, workshop that you'll be doing. Uh, you may have questions about the notes, and we, Suzanne or myself, will be um, always available about this time in the morning for you guys or all day here in Australia uh, to answer any questions that you have. Um, and we also uh, supply a sign-up plan. I'll go through the offer that we suggest that you'll be making to your students in a moment and we offer that uh, sign-up plan for students who might want to sign up. So uh, this is the uh, workshop. So we're suggesting a one-day workshop from nine till five. Uh, you know, we can change that a little bit. Uh, sometimes, actually, people like to start at eight and finish at four. And you can see here we have a, a welcome and introduction. Uh, we have a discussion. Uh, then, often a little practice. We have morning tea. Uh, more discussion about the subscription. Discussion about the admin. Dis discussion about the uh, structure. Discussion about. Um, uh, collaboration. We also have test revision here. Now, as you as leaders will know, we sent an assessment to make sure that you've got basic knowledge of the techniques of meditation because we believe that's important. So as part of this workshop, we will be giving your students access to the modules that you went through so that they can actually um, uh, brush up on their knowledge of what meditation is, and in order for us to certify them properly, they'll have needed to do that same assessment that you um, completed before you became leaders. And uh, here we've just got test revision. That's for you to answer questions that they might have on that assessment if, if you, we've given them uh, prior to them attending the workshop. Afternoon tea, we like to have a fair bit of time for everyone to have like a 15 minute practice. Uh, that's really helpful. Our feedback is, you know, for people to actually sit up in front of the group in the workshop. So it's a very friendly type of workshop where people get a chance to pretend that they're the leader just so that that's not the first time they lead a group when they're actually being paid to run a group. And then final discussions, uh, discussion questions and goodbyes. So uh, that's a uh, overview of how we have run the workshops and how we would suggest that you run them. So you can see it's pretty much all done for you. Um, the other assets we will have is when we next run a live workshop, we will actually video the teachings that we do. So that's myself or more probably Suzanne. So you'll actually have a video of uh, Suzanne going through those particular topics the whole day for you to have a look at. Um, and the web, web page I've already uh, talked about. So uh, the, as far as the uh, economics is concerned, what we are suggesting, and um, I'd be keen to get your feedback at the end of this presentation, is that we charge uh, each person in Australian dollars $297. I think which works out to about 170 or 180 pounds in the UK. Now there will be costs for the venue and costs for advertising. 
uh, we will take that out of the revenue that you create by the number of people that uh, come, and then any, uh, and then whatever profit is left, left that will be split 50-50. So that basically guarantees that you won't ever do this at a loss. Um, and, and so we're not going to charge a fixed cost to do this, rather we will split the revenue with you 50-50. Uh, so for example, if you had eight people, eight times, in our case, let's say $300 is $2,400. If you took out $400 for costs, that would be $1,000 to you and $1,000 to us, or for those people in the UK, uh, probably about uh, 600 pounds, 650 pounds, something like that. Um, now, uh, we, get, as part of our offering, we actually give the people three months free sign up. So, you know, um, they are getting effectively, they pay. 297, but they're getting $260 worth of uh, free con free subscription from us. We really want to encourage them to be leaders, and so um, uh, that's a bonus. So they get that three months. Now, if the customers, we want them to be long-term leaders, so we obviously want to encourage them to go on past that three months mark, and. Uh, go on and keep teaching month five, month six, month seven, month eight, you know, hopefully long term. And we do want to make it, uh, um, you know, beneficial for you too. So we've suggested at this stage that as a bonus to you guys, we would also uh, give uh, the first two months of uh, subscription also to you for running the workshop as a thanks for getting those people along. Um, so if you put in, if those eight people decide to keep going as a leader after the three month free subscription period and go on to month five, we will give you a bonus as well, which would take up to $2,360 uh, as an example. So uh, you might have some questions about that and I can answer them shortly. But hopefully that's fairly clear as to the way we've structured it to make it as incentivized for you and for your customers as possible. Um, for your customers, they get the one full day of training. Uh, we suggest you supply coffee, tea and snacks. Um, and then we give them the value uh, of three months subscription for free. So, you know, if they were to sign up online, uh, they would have to pay $261. They're now paying $297, so they're effectively getting this workshop for $30, which is uh, a real bargain, no-brainer at this stage. We, of course, might increase that price at a later stage, but in order to get this off the ground, we want to make it as attractive as possible. Uh, final notes, we can handle the payment side and the sign-up side of things for you. Uh, so that takes that load off your mind. Uh, we would, uh, I, I think it's, it would be viable at a minimum of four people. So you would aim to get eight to ten people. Um, but you might want to do your uh, figures on trying to get at least four people, especially in the beginning along. Less than that, not only does it become unviable for you, for your time, but um, uh, I also find sometimes lower numbers can be a little bit uh, awkward. Um, people feel a bit more self-conscious. And uh, when it's their turn to present, uh, it's better if you have a few more. So we would aim for a minimum of four people. Um, and then we can do some Facebook advertising for you as well. So we've been experimenting with Facebook advertising for quite a while now. Um, and it works okay. We'll have to go into the details. It does require you to follow up with phone calls. So we, we can get the initial leads in, but often they don't turn in, into anything unless you actually physically phone them up. Um, so but we'll go through all of that uh, once you've decided to run one of these workshops. Um, so that brings us to the end of uh, the presentation. And I'm going to open up now. Uh, for any questions. Uh, what I might do actually, 
Oh, no, I better unmute you all because you can unmute yourself, but um, I'll unmute you all. Um, so, Peter, I just want to confirm um, you said a 50% split. That um, worked out after we've, organ after we've worked out what our expenses are. Would be what our time or our whole hire or? Uh, so, yes, correct. Uh, costs would include the venue, any snacks, and then advertising that we do. Uh, I'll speak. Yes, go for it. Um, um, and I'm, I do apologise for coming in late, so I, I, I'm sorry if you might have touched on some stuff and I've missed it. Um, um, but, but yes, definitely, um, I, I think, it, um, you know, putting something together is a um, it, is something that, that people call for because, you know, you, you finish the course and they're looking for something else else to do, some, something to expand on. So um, yeah, I'd definitely like to explore this a bit more. No, well, I'm, um, I was yep. just going to say I'm looking forward to it, seeing so I'm going to be the first to have off the rank <laughs> to um, try all this. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, it, it, is, it is a bit exciting. And, there's a, you know, when I make calls to people, there's a lot of people that uh, are hesitant to do online learning. So um, this is really the ideal uh, alternative for them to really see what a, you know, what a... Um, a, a group or, or how a leader, you know, runs a group. And and I would also suggest, and, and I did quote this uh, query to Peter earlier, there may even be leaders that want to come and just have a either a refresher or um, just actually see what a class looks like in action. Um, you can always go to other leaders' classes, um, which I always encourage, but you know, I suppose if you want to get it straight from the horse's mouth to see <laughs> how we run a class, um, I, I do run my classes stereotypically, obviously, along the skillful mind guidelines. Um, so, yeah, more than you know, we can talk about how we could facilitate that if someone was wanting to come to um, you know, my test case group, I guess. All right, well, look, I'll, I'll keep it short and sweet. Uh, obviously, Suzanne and myself are available, um, and we're very excited to uh, get this off the ground. Uh, very good. All right, well, to uh, Paul and Jackie and Leanne and Carrie and another Jackie and Suzanne and everyone else who's dialed in, thank you very much. Uh, we will post this live, and we look forward to hearing from you in the future. Have a great day or evening, wherever you are, and um, all the best, and we look forward to carrying on the conversation.